Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we will do it a little differently. Join me as I do vintage handbag shopping at two of my favorite Japanese online resellers. So the first one is secondhanddocollectionaire.com. It used to be Ginza Japan and they're currently based in Nagoya. The other one is eLady Global Zone and we'll get to that later. So uh, this first website, they have a lot of vintage old pieces. So if you're looking for the latest and the hottest, you won't find it here. Signing up is relatively easy and free. And once you sign up with them, you are part of a weekly newsletter wherein they send a lot of updates, new arrivals, clearance prices, as well as coupons for different brands. So they currently have a summer sale ongoing. So you get a 15% discount coupon upon checkout. And of course, you cannot use this for final sale items. So I guess this is the code. So just going through the website, they have a lot of final sale, reduced prices. So that's your clearance section. And yes, once you apply with them or you sign up, you get 10% discount coupon code but I would suggest you use the summer sale coupon code so you have here Louis Vuitton Chanel Gucci Christian Dior and then other other brands they also have a clearance section you can also shop by style as well as price ranges if you have a certain budget in mind Alright, so I'm feeling a bit stingy today, so let's go to clearance section. So we click here, and these are the final prices. What I do is that I sort them from the lowest price going up, and then let's show everything. So 48. Let's look at some items here pouch, clutches, golf ball case pouch, keekly. Oh, it's only 140. If I see something of interest, I just right click and then open a new tab so I can get more information. And then while that's loading, I look for other pieces. These are all US dollars by the way. It looks kind of dirty. Key pouch here as well. Coin case. I think that's in my... I think I already have it here. Yeah. $160. Lots of pouches. This is a Cellier Dragon clutch bag. Looks like a Mons. So, Monko, Manso. Not the straps. Leather card cases. Epi and Vernie seems to have little value after you buy it. Price automatically goes down. You have messenger bags. I'm not a fan of fabric uh, used bags. They can, they can tend to be very dirty. And then for Vernie, sometimes they get so faded. You see here. And sometimes if the owner didn't take care of it, it gets really sticky. So it's more trouble for than what it's worth. Okay, it's lots of Vernie. You have your Isho tote bag. Let's just look at it. Let me tab. Get another page. These are all Vernie. So wash clay, two hundred dollars. Multicolor, two hundred dollars. I think I have that. No, it's three ninety. Let's look at it. So I currently have three tabs open. Let's just finish this page right here. Damien, Damien Ben, two twenty. 
Oh look, they have a toiletry pouch, 15, 220 US. Let's open that. They have a patine away, 220. And this is a pochette compact tour pouch bag. It's a bit longer and shorter than your usual toiletry pouches, 230. They have it's a very unusual color. Toledo blue coin cord handbag purse. Not my style. Okay, the first monogram speedy. It's 35. I think it's too big for me, but it's $240. Documents pouch, 260. Looping GM. Card case, 270. Okay, let's look at our first item. Key pouch. So you have here descriptions. Serial number, it was made in 2000. It was made in Spain. And what I appreciate about this website is that they have a lot of photos. There's the date code and it also says here if it has accessories, if it has a dust bag, if it has a strap, if it has anything, other accessories. And then condition, it puts it here. Actually, Japanese online resellers are very upfront and honest about the condition of their luxury pieces. It also includes smell. Uh, as not a lot of the resellers actually declare the smell of the bag. And then the condition is AB. And they have here a scoring system when it comes to the condition. So anything A is already good enough. B, it looks really used. So anything AB, maybe somewhere in the middle. So it says here it has minor scratches. Gearing, gearing strap has come off, but it doesn't affect normal use. The inside has clean and stains with minor scratches. That's your shipping policy. They send by DHL. They also have a return policy. Alright. This one, I'll pass. This bag. So this is made in Spain. Made in 2004, no accessories. Looks really big, it's 31, 26, and then 10 cm. So just go through the photos, you see some indent there, some damage. Look at the side. Made in 2004 from Spain. Zipper runs smoothly. Part has few minor stains, scratches. Leather part has stains, minor scratches. Okay, no cigarette smell or odor of any kind. Okay, so you can see a, there's a lot of patina and then discoloration in the hardware. The monogram seems intact. Like in good condition. There's no crack yet on the canvas. So this looks like a overall in good condition. And it's only $200. The last one is a cosmetic pouch. Made in 1991 from France. Accessories, clean and stains, part has minor, few stains, few minor scratches, corners of rub, have rub, top part, side part have cracks, oh no, where is that? You have to make 
make sure that when you're getting these items, make sure that the canvas is still intact so that you can still have it repaired by Louis Vuitton if you want. But you, can, you can also have this repaired by third party leather service providers. Okay, this is the leather tab. that they have close-ups so it's the interior not too bad and this is the deco okay so that's in the clearance part let's go to Louis Vuitton let's do price ranges so not too cheap but something decent let's say I got a $400 to $500. So what I do is cheap and then $48 per page. Mm, this looks nice. Tote bag. Soccer bag. Not a fan of pre loved fabrics. Speedy 35. We have a key ball for $130. And the weird blue epi. It's a sack week ender. Let's look at this. Let's close the blue tabs. Shopping tote. Four hundred thirty. Then GM Chelsea four hundred thirty. Okay, we have Gucci here. Okay, so we, I just chose the price range, not the not limited to one brand. It's a document holder. This is a very vintage-looking messenger bag. Pochette Matisse looks like the granddaddy of the Pochette Matisse. It's a compact wallet. There are a lot of treasures here, guys. You just have to find the right one for you. There's some, there's some epi tote bag. It's very discreet, very. doesn't look like a Louis bag. Cases for tennis balls.
Team Cloud GM. Mick PM Messenger, I'm also interested. There's a valley, it's a valley flat back. My mom has this in Navy Blue. My dad bought it for her on their anniversary. It's just as elegant as a traditional classic frog. Quite big, it's 57 cm. And serial number is 824, it means it was made in 1982, April. Wow. I think they already, I think the, they had this recolored already. It has a bit of smell, vintage leather, clean and scratches. Okay, if you're interested. This was made in. What is this made? It doesn't say. This is made in France. Serial number cannot see the code because the leather part is not Okay. So I guess it's too long. The inside is leather, I guess. I guess it's easy to clean. This one I'm very interested. So it was made in 2001 in France. It, it has a key included, but it doesn't have a strap. It seems to be in good condition. These are the earrings where you can attach a strap. So since it's black, you're actually free to choose any kind of strap. It doesn't have to be an LV strap. Epi bags are quite sturdy. It's good hardware. Bottom seems to be in good condition. Interior as well looks good. This is the date code made in France. Oh, pocket is nice. It's not sticky. There are no cracks in the leather. Overall, I think this is a good buy for $160. It would be good if it comes with the original strap. So I'll pass. So it was a tote bag. Very understated. It doesn't look like it's Louis Vuitton. This one was made in 2002 from France. No accessories. Condition is AB. The side seems to be in good condition. Also here. 
this one was made in 1994, France. It includes a shoulder strap and its original dust bag. Wow. But you may need to have this brought to LV for repair. Pretty clean. So it seems that only the vaqueta trim needs to be fixed or yeah, repaired. Also a good buy. And Porter GM, the strap is canvas. This, it was made in 1994 in France. No other accessories. Looks like it's in good condition. Item has a smell. The zipper runs smoothly and minor scratches. Vaqueta looks great for a vintage piece. And this is the date code. Nice. This is the interior. It's clean. This one, wow, this is 1989, December, made in France. It has LV dust bag. Outside looks like it's in good condition for the age, of course. Some discoloration at the bottom, but overall no cracks. On the stitches for vintage bags a lot of cracks or stresses are here in this part where you open and close frequently but it seems that the glue or the glazing is still intact which is a good sign this is the date code 1989 I guess this is older than some of you guys If you're born in 1989 and you have this bag, that's amazing. I'm, all, I'm still on the lookout for a St. Cloud GM in, that was made in 1985. Okay, so the pocket has a bit of uh, damage here on the leather, but I think it can easily be fixed. So. Okay, inside and outside pockets, lining started to peel off and is flaky and sticky, but you can replace the lining. I think for this type of bag, Epi is quite sturdy. And if you're looking for a bag that was made in the same year you were born, I think this is already a good buy. You don't get a lot of these in relatively good condition. Last one is the Mink PM. They also they still manufacture this. Um, okay, serial number. Okay, you cannot see the code. Uh, it was made in France. Looks really used. Oh, there's a crack in the canvas. That's why it's on sale. Alright. So there you have it guys. So this is just an overview of how to navigate this website you will have a lot of really good vintage finds here and yep a lot of them are on sale or have been moved to clearance price so yeah I think that's a good find alright so let me clean this up Let's go to eLady Global or eLady. Let's look at Hermes. So 
what I do is I try to filter. So first is I sort by cheapest, cheapest, and then 120 per page, and then let's look at bags. I want to see what the what their cheapest Hermes bag is. Alright, they have had over a thousand bags here. So most of them are your canvas tote bags. I'm looking for the cheapest leather bag. This one is cotton. It's a nice pop of pink red. Okay, they have a lot of cases, pouches. are all canvas tote bags glove holder oh this is nice but it's in B condition good condition or the price is really good I remember it, I, me seeing a lot of Japanese really loving their tote bags on the street leather bag. I think this is from the men's collection. Anyway, let's see if it's worth a look. We have one in black as well. Or maybe let's look at the very first garden party. Or what's the more, most affordable? Picotan? Oh look, shoulder bag, six hundred six dollars. This canvas. Ooh, garden party, but it's canvas slash leather. Anyway, let's open and then one last page. something for less than a thousand dollars nylon canvas how about this one the trim 35 and this one 
this one. This is just over a thousand. Okay, let's start looking. This is nice. It has a really saturated red color. It also uses the same ranking. I think this one, they have more. So anything A, B, and above is a good deal. This is made in France, 30 cm. So this is like a speedy 30. Next one is a polyester tote. Not a fan. Here it looks decent. $304. It's Hermes, but look, it's made in India. 50% leather, 50% polyester. Interesting. that what's what is this case it's a Vespa blue jean I think you can put here jewelry I guess watches good condition this one is a shoulder black it's in canvas okay not a fan Okay, this is, I think this is the men's collection. Hermes to the shoulder bag, diagonal pochette. Looks like in good condition. Mm. Looks interesting. But it really doesn't say anywhere here if it's Hermes. As well, just buy any other leather handbag. <laughs> this is the one in black. Okay, not a fan. Let me just close this. Okay, this one. Very interesting. Six hundred dollars. It's in Epsom leather. Size is twenty-five cm, so it's like a Speedy twenty-five. It's a shoulder bag. There's some scratches here. There's no rank yet, or there's no score yet. It looks to be possibly a B condition. No, it looks nice. It's a garden party. It's a leather. It's black. Engraved, so this was made 2011. Okay. Too much leather. <laughs> See a lot of wear. Okay, not a fan, but if you're interested, it's $880. This one is a trim, Torillion and Clamance, dark gray, almost black. This would be a nice shoulder bag some stains in the interior but not really that noticeable the strap is still in good condition hardware seems to be okay the leather tab and the zipper pull are okay might need to have this refurbished at the Hermes Spa that's also one way you can tell if the item is authentic or not if Hermes receives it or takes it in for Bag spa. Okay. For 974, maybe a good deal. This one is a tote bag ever calf. Also quite small, it's 30 cm. A good office bag. It has feet. And here is not too bad. Mess for $969. And the last one is a Trim 31, so it's slightly smaller than the Trim 30. This one is $1,000. Overall, looks like 
it's in good condition. Edges are good. Some scratches, but no significant damage. And here is the main inference. Okay, so that's it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed me going through my favorite online resellers. So these are all based in Japan. They, if you sign up with them, which is usually free, they send weekly newsletters wherein they share with you new items as well as discounts, coupons, promos, and all that. So it might be worth your while to check their website once in a while. So aside from bags, they also have other categories. And if you want to zoom into a certain price range, you can do that if you have a budget. You can also choose the condition. So anything A is used good and then just go up. So acceptable meaning uh, it's a bit more worn. You need to probably have it um, refurbished or repaired. But anyway, yep, these items are all authentic as Japanese laws are very strict when it comes to authenticity and dealing with counterfeit items. So yeah, please give this video a like if you're if you've enjoyed it. Um, if you learned something new today, can you also let me know which online shops do you frequent? So let me know in the comment section down below. So that's it, guys. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in my next video. Ingat.